Hey guys, what's up? My name is Labra, and today I've got a lot of shit to talk about. So this is going to be a bit of a channel update, but yeah. <laughs> so this may be a little bit of a channel slash life for life update, but for the past few months I've been beginning to think and question myself regarding the stuff I create on this channel. I created this channel for fun, and you can definitely see that with a lot of the content I made in the beginning of the channel's life. But slowly over time I've begun to make more serious content, less fun content, stuff that I genuinely enjoyed. A lot of the stuff that I covered caused massive amounts of mental distress. Longer videos took more time because I just didn't enjoy sitting down for hours on end, listening and reading awful things. But I had to set a precedent over time and I felt personally I needed to fulfill or I'd be letting friends or people that I looked up to down. This weight really took fucking haymakers to my mental health and I slowly fell down the slippery slope of depression. <laughs> this is... Then in March, in my country, Ireland, it went into lockdown. A lockdown meant to last two weeks, turned into eight months. Of intermittent level five restrictions, then to level three, then back to level five for six to ten weeks at a time. This truly finished me, being stuck between these four walls for six to ten weeks at a time. was just fucking awful. And for almost five me five months, and the reason I say five months was because when everything changed, in the middle of the summer, I had been prescribed antidepressants, and the antidepressant in particular that I will be speaking about is Lexapro or Escalateropram. A quick lesson on Lexapro is it's a mood rebalancer. It raises your serotonin and keeps it at a steady level. Now, meaning you don't become depressed, but you also don't feel happy because it inhibits serotonin at the same time. Meaning, you are stuck feeling absolutely fucking nothing. All day, every day. It also made me extremely tired, meaning most of my days were spent laying in bed. Whenever I'd open a notepad to write a new script, I'd begin at 2pm and with a snap of my fingers, it's 9pm and I had nothing done all day. As well as that, I had extreme sleep problems, so it'd be up from 7am. I'd go to sleep at 7am and wake up at 1-2pm to 2 PM daily. Life really just begun to feel worse and worse and if you don't think it could get any worse Lexapro has a lot and I mean a lot of side effects in the United States Lexapro has a warning from the FDA itself that the drug may include, increase the feeling of suicidality now in Ireland or the UK there's none of these warnings on the box or even in anything that I've seen it took me a google search of Lexapro side effects just to find out about these seriously adverse side effects and if you don't believe me, I'll leave a link to the FDA article down below. It's literally on the first page. But it just got worse and worse to the point where I was having massive depressive episodes when at random points in my night I'd end up having extreme thoughts. Stuff like the fact that I'm worthless and that nobody would miss me if I died and if I just killed myself. I remember sitting on my bed in the pitch dark listening to music and just thinking why don't I take the rest of my pills and just slip away. Nobody would ever notice. Nobody would ever know about. Life, at this point, honestly, didn't feel like it was worth it. I had people out there who supported me, yet I felt unbearably alone. Days turned to months. Feelings never changed, and then one night I relapsed. I hadn't self-harmed in over four years, but I had an episode, and I just remember at around 2am taking my emotions out of myself with a razor, and I had realised it didn't help at all. Nothing helped. Along with these horrific depressive episodes and the antidepressants, I am also still going through gender identity issues. So slowly walking through this plane of life, I realised that I'm beginning to slowly fade from the fandom, something I truly enjoyed so long ago. I made this tweet before privating my Twitter account, of which it was day private for the time being. The tweet reads as follows. Recently, life has become extremely difficult to manage. A lot of things are wrong, and I don't want to t don't talk about any of them. I feel personally it's not worth people worrying about me. I'm sorry to people I've hurt and to fans who've enjoyed my content. It's not a goodbye, but it is a break. One of the lines I'm going to explain in depth is this one: "I feel personally it's not worth people worrying about me." From previous experiences, I've had people leave my life over my mental health issues. Instead of talking and speaking out about my issues, I've decided to suffer in silence because I'm worried about the fact that I may lose friends and people I've managed to befriend. Also, as well, I was just scared. As a commentary creator, you aren't allowed to show feelings and that would be showing a weakness. 
because the fact that I ever have any sort of name on this platform that anyone I've ended to or spoke to would come out to show that side of me ever anything happened to me and they'd use that as a point against me if something were to ever happen like I was saying before I had completely been fading from the fandom that I recently had seen a video the YouTube Rewind for Furry 2020 it was amazing seeing so many creators come together and create such a great content and piece of art basically was amazing this was a perfect display of it but I took a very different perspective from it and it made me completely reevaluate my entire channel and the content I was creating for years it felt like compared to all the other furry creators I was estranged the weird uncle because like someone told me after afterwards regarding my channel there's nothing popping out of my channel that specifically tell people I'm a furry I just commentate over gameplay. Everything kind of clicked. I had felt like I had wasted my time creating a channel only for the content I created to completely miss the mark. And for me to be estranged and the content itself to be further away from the community I loved and cherished for the years. So yeah, I'm going to take a break. And fix myself over the Christmas and fix stuff that had been going wrong for a long time. I'm going to try. But for now it's goodbye. You can check out my Twitch, I may stream more since I'm not going to be making YouTube videos for a while. So yeah, I'll see you guys later.